Lauren Strand scored a big win against French Grandmaster Tal Abrugel. He goes into round five with three points. He joins us in our studio. Lawrence, I know you had a great game and we're going to jump into it. But I have to start by saying I never thought this would happen. We've commentated together and here I am interviewing you. How well, we this isn't here? the first time you've given me a grilling, but in other circumstances. But it's great to be here. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's great to have you here. But you did have a really quite a crazy game today. I mean, I just saw the last position and let's yeah. have that up. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, I got very lucky for the first time actually looking at your games paid off because I had this position three weeks ago um, in uh, another very strong open in, in Sitges near Barcelona against uh, Grandmaster Dragnev. And he suggested to me after the game this move, uh, which is a very natural move, but when black plays queen b6 attacking both B2 pawns, you have to give up a pawn. But he said he was very worried about just sacrificing this d-pawn and putting the bishop on e5 with a very, very decent compensation. Black finds it very difficult to get his pieces out. Um, objectively speaking, black is doing more than fine, but it's difficult to play over the board, and uh, Tal's next move illustrated that with bishop c6 because that ran into a very strong pawn push b4, and when I play b5, got a lot of initiative, and uh, his position collapsed quite quickly. So, I, yeah, today was really not a game of... It's not like I played very well. I just got very lucky with previous preparation, basically. So you think you got him out of the book and he didn't handle it? And no, I mean, for sure he saw my game. I mean, he, yes. he, he would have seen this and probably but not made... Queen G3. Yeah, he would have made some improvement here on the game, uh, in, in the game against Dragnev. I put a rook on C1, but I got lucky that Valentino, after the game, very kindly suggested this move to me. I thought, oh, I better research that. And... What was the result of that game? I lost that game. So that's an interesting yeah. thing, right? Like you repeat a line which you recently yeah. played but had a bad result and because your opponent is probably not expecting that and then you find an improvement in it. Yeah, uh, I mean, well, I didn't really well, find fine. the improvement. <laughs> he told me it. Um, again, it's not, it's not amazing or anything and, and black can do, do perfectly fine with some accurate moves, but it's tricky to play over the board. But yeah, I'll take it. I'll take the win, you know? Three out of four, I can't complain. And uh, you have been talking about retiring from chess for a long time. Yeah. But well, you, you, you suggested I should. As a good friend. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, you're back. And, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I can't retire. Going? Well, you've got a higher rating than me. so I, I you cross that? Uh, yeah, no, I, until I, like, I'm well ahead of you where you've got, like, you know. But you, that's you've not got going a, very well for you, No, is it's it? not. <laughs> All right, tell no, us about that. I'm going to try and get my. I'm going to try and get a grand. I mean, I'm on three out of four. I've played Le Quang. I mean, I've got a good average rating now. I mean, I, I'm going to make a go of it. So far, life this is has too been short. Been it's been. A, I always. I actually do quite well here in Gibraltar. I realised over the years, I've had some good results. So maybe, maybe it's the place. Maybe it's the rock. Maybe I'm getting energy from the rock. The rock. <laughs> of Gibraltar is giving me energy. <laughs> no, right. I don't know. I play well here. I don't know why. I feel good here. You watch the sea, everybody's around, it's a good environment. It is. You know what I mean? The Blitz tonight. Are we going to see you there? Um, I don't know yet. I haven't got a team. Nobody wants Nobody me. Nobody wants you. No. I'm like a lost puppy. Um, but... I would say we could be a team, but I'm not going to. Okay. <laughs> No, I would rather win the tournament. So I'll find some players who, you know, might, <laughs> might, you know, might want, you know, some young guns or something. There were a few young guys who asked, um, but we'll see. I think we'll see. I'll, I'll float around. And how do you feel about the social calendar here in Gibraltar? We it's all great. Really enjoy yourselves. Yeah, uh, it's we've great. We've seen you at the bar a lot. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm hanging out by the bar. Everybody seems to be gravitating towards there. Some old faces. We've been coming here for so many years yes. now. When was the first time we were here? 2009? 2008? Yeah. I think been... that was also when I crushed you at Blitz. Yeah. Well, that's <laughs> nice that you remembered the first victory that you had against me 11 years ago. Let's not talk about the time. What's happened yeah. after? <laughs> um, but, um, yeah, 11 years coming here to Gibraltar. And some years I've come as a player, some years I've come as a, just a, as a fan. I love the tournament. I love what Stuart and Brian and the organisation is doing. And... That's good to hear. Yeah, I'm just and happy to be here. important games coming up. Yeah, I'm going to have a big game tomorrow, so I better not go back to the bar because three out of four, I'm probably going to get a super duper player, actually. But that's the whole idea that's of why playing I'm here. a tournament right, that's like right. this. Yeah, I'm, and hopefully, you know, I get a bit lucky again. If I can get lucky over the next six games, I'll be really happy. So we'll see. We wish you all the best for it. Thank you Thanks, for your Tanya. time. Thank you, Tanya.